Hi, everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Erin, and I'm Mike. And today we're talking about Greek mythology. My favorite mythology. Oh, okay. Why is it your favorite? Because I don't know any others.、Uh, you, I'm sure you know the Norse mythology. <laughs> oh yeah, Odin, Thor, Thor and,、mm -hmm. Ragnarok, Loki.、Yeah. Most of that's from Marvel movies. Right. <laughs> now that I now that I think about it. Well, I'm assuming a lot of people out there now today have a lot. Of knowledge about Greek mythology from movies as well. That's true. They've made <laughs>、yeah. lots of movies based based on Greek mythology. I guess the Clash of the Titans movies, yeah, not yeah. too long ago, were based、and、on Greek mythology and a lot of the gods, right?、Mm -hmm. Zeus and Hera, Aphrodite, right? Apollo, people like that. They, they show、familiar. up. They show up in a lot of books. Sure, and, and absolutely.、Mm -hmm. If you need to have a story with people in. Small clothes and waving swords around in sandals.、Yeah. Greek mythology is a great place to go for <laughs>、yeah. that that kind of thing. So, what are we going to be looking at today? Well, we're actually going to do our literature article today.、Oh, okay, it's about it's a book called、mm. the Hidden Oracle.、Mm. Now, in my classes in Greek mythology, I I, I remember oracles, but、mm -hmm. not a story called the Hidden Oracle. I, I, I don't remember that. I assume this is a modern、oh. story, a modern storytelling. Oh really?、Uh, yeah, which I'm sure you'll find out with the first sentence when,、cool. we, when we get started here in a second. Sounds interesting. <laughs> Let's、right. check it out. Reading the hidden oracle. Apollo lands in a large dumpster with a crash. In a fog, Apollo looks around. Trying to figure out where he is, the only thing he can remember is that his father Zeus is mad at him. For punishment, Zeus has made Apollo mortal and sent him to Earth as a teenage boy. Apollo looks around and finds his wallet. An ID card confirms his human identity, Lester Papadopoulos. Unfortunately. Two thugs spot Apollo's wallet as well. As the thugs threaten Apollo, a girl named Meg McCaffrey throws fruit at them, scaring them off. It turns out that Meg is a demigod. She needs Apollo's help to get to Camp Half Blood, a camp for demigods. In return for saving Apollo, Meg claims Apollo's service. Apollo now has to perform tasks for Meg until his debt is paid off. Apollo's first task is to get both of them to Camp Half Blood. To do this, he turns to the demigod Percy Jackson for help. It takes a while to persuade Percy, but he finally agrees to drive them to the camp. Okay, so we're gonna start today's article finding out about one of the gods in Greek mythology, and here it says Apollo lands in a large dumpster with a crash. Excuse me. Yeah. No, a what? A large dumpster. A dumpster. Mm-hmm. Like a big garbage can they、right. have behind a restaurant or something. Exactly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't have those in ancient Greece. <laughs> no, which is why you can see this is a modern story.、Oh. Featuring one of the ancient Greek gods. So the ancient gods come to our modern time. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we、uh, see that this story is going to be based on Apollo.、Uh, now Apollo is one of the Greek gods,、mm -hmm. and he's actually just come down to Earth. He's landed in a large dumpster, which is a large metal trash container. Now you often see these, like Mike said, behind restaurants, behind large buildings, behind apartment buildings. And you'll notice that it's spelled with a capital D, and that's because it's a trademark noun.、So、is it? It is.、So、I didn't know that. Yeah, the company call, called Dumpster、mm -hmm. owns this noun, and so we have to spell it with a capital D. Another example is frisbee or rollerblades. Right. Okay.、Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know that. Anyway, so he just lands in a big garbage can, and of course, if you're a Greek god or if you're a 
big garbage bag, and someone throws you in a big metal garbage can, it'll make a loud noise, and that's、right. why we talk about it lands here. He lands with a crash. Now, to crash, the verb means to you know hit together very hard,、mm-hmm. like two cars might crash into each other. But that noise that they make, that large, that loud banging noise or something, we would say that is a crash. So,、right. did you hear that crash outside the window or something like that?、Mm-hmm. It means basically you heard a loud noise, maybe caused by cars hitting each other, or maybe just caused by someone dropping a large, heavy piece of metal or something on the ground. Lots of reasons to hear a crash, but it usually means there's been an accident. For example, we heard a crash and ran to the window to look outside,、mm-hmm. but it was just a Greek god landing in a garbage can. Nothing、yeah. interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> Greek god. They, they don't land in garbage cans every day. No, but,、uh, well, they do at my house. Oh, okay. Well, Apollo's <laughs> not used to it, which is why here it says, "In a fog, Apollo looks around, trying to figure out where he is."、Hmm. Now we use this phrase, "In a fog." And、uh, that's actually today's shortcut for you.、Yeah. So we're going to take a quick break to learn more about it now. Shortcut for you. Take a look at this crime scene, Watson. Tell me what you see. Hmm. There's a broken statue and a dead body. Correct. If I'm right, these two things are connected. I just don't understand how, Holmes. My, my, Watson, you're really in a fog today. Yes, the fog is getting thicker. Maybe we should return to Baker Street. Try to keep up, Watson. If someone is in a fog, they are in a confused situation or state. The fog has cleared. In the fog means 处于迷惑困惑的状态之下 Ah, so you see it now. Yes, the dead man broke the statue, but it fell on him and killed him. <sighs> You're still in a fog, Watson. But never mind. We must head to the British Museum. That's where we'll find our answers. Okay, so in a fog basically just means he's really confused. That's right.、Mm. I mean, he's just landed in the modern world in a big metal garbage can, so <laughs>、right. he's trying to figure out where he is, as anyone would be.、Mm-hmm. To figure out this phrase basically means to find a solution, to find、yeah. an answer to a puzzle, a mystery, a problem, a question, something like that. For example, I can't figure out how to finish this Rubik's cube.、Yeah. I have one. One red cube on the, you know, white side, and I、mm-hmm. can't get it in the right place. I can't find the answer to this puzzle.、Uh, some people are really good at that, and、yep. I'm not one of them. Nope. All right. Well, here's here's he's in this garbage can. He's yeah, looking did, around. How did he end up here?、Uh, well, we're about to find out. It says the only thing he can remember is that his father Zeus <gasps> is mad at him. Well, that's not good. You don't want Zeus to be mad at you. No, that's no. his father. That、mm-hmm. he's the king. Of all the gods and in he, Greek mythology, that's right.、Mm-hmm. He's also known to be very difficult. Right.、Um, he makes life difficult for people if they make life difficult for him. He's kind of like Trump. Yeah, I guess in that, that way, you don't、mm. want to make him mad because he's just going to do something crazy to you. Anyways, <laughs>、okay. we also read for punishment. Zeus has made Apollo mortal and sent him to Earth as a teenage boy.、That、See, sounds、That's、terrible. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so Zeus was angry with、uh, Apollo, obviously, right? Because this is his punishment. Now,、mm-hmm. a punishment is basically some kind of penalty, some kind of action that is put on a person for. Bad behavior for breaking the rules. All right, if you、uh, cheat on a test at school, you might get a serious punishment、mm-hmm. from your teacher. All right, or for lying to your parents. In our example sentence, for lying to his parents, Jake's punishment was no cell phone for a month. That's a long time. That's a long time. He broke a serious rule,、mm-hmm. and so this is the、uh, this is the effect. This is what happens because he broke that rule. So that's his punishment. All right. Well, 
Apollo's punishment is a little bit different、yeah. than Jake's.、Uh, His parents are a little bit different too, right? So Zeus has made Apollo mortal. Now, mortal means that you're not able to live forever. So, for example, humans are mortal. All humans will die eventually. No,、yep. we will. Sorry to break the bad news. Oh no.、Mm-hmm. But in most religions, now not all religions, in most religions or mythologies, gods are im. Immortal, which、uh-huh. means they can live forever. Yeah, immortal. So gods are immortal. Superheroes,、mm-hmm. right, are often、Usually、immortal. immortal. James Bond seems to be immortal. He's been going for、he's、a long been, time. He's been around. He looks different every few years too. <laughs> it's it's funny that way. Anyways, let's get back to Apollo. So Apollo has now been punished. He's been sent to modern times,、mm-hmm. and he's also just a normal person. So I guess he also doesn't have any sort of godlike no, powers. Not at the moment. No, I mean he he still can do some things. I think in the story, as we'll see later. But this but, is a、uh, very different life for him. Right.、So、the next thing we read is that Apollo looks around and finds his wallet. Okay. Well, at least he's got a wallet. Hopefully,、yeah. he's got some money in there. Well, I hope so. And he does find something in the wallet. Something you wouldn't really expect. Well, I, I mean. In a wallet, you usually find、That's、an ID、true. card. That's true. Maybe not in a god's wallet, but、right. in a normal wallet. Okay.、Yes. Well, remember, like now, Apollo is a normal person, That's and so、right. the sentence here tells us what's in his wallet. It says an ID card confirms his human identity,、mm. Lester Papadopoulos. <laughs> Which、Excuse is me. Quite a Greek name. Papadopoulos.、Right、is. Papadopoulos. They couldn't let him keep his first name. Well, I don't Apollo know. Apollo Papadopoulos. I think he might arouse a bit of spe- That's suspicion. That's true. Yeah, it's an unusual. It's a cool name, but it it's、is. an unusual name. But、right. Lester Papadopoulos sounds pretty normal. Actually, I went to high school with an Andrew Papadopoulos. Well, there、so、you go. Maybe they were. Maybe he was a Greek. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Lots of things to think about. But、okay. this is his identity. Right. So an identity is someone's name. Or basically, just who they are, essentially.、Mm, yeah. So, an ID card is going to say it's going to give clues to a person's identity. It'll include a name, a birthday, an address, important information who tells you who that person is. That's、basically. right. That's what the ID is. An、mm-hmm. ID card. It's your identity card. Right. And here, in an example sentence, we could say police are still trying to figure out the identity of the jewel thief. They don't know who the Thief is all right. Well, while Apollo is sort of figuring out where he is and looking at what's inside his wallet, something happens and it's not good. We、nope. know that because it says, "Unfortunately, unfortunately, two thugs spot Apollo's wallet as well." Oh yeah, I guess he's、mm. kind of in a in the alleyway、he's、behind like, you know. Yeah, he's, he's kind, of, a, kind near of near dumpster, right? A dangerous、yeah. part of town. So something bad happens, and、mm-hmm. yeah, the adverb "unfortunately" is sort of like sadly, too bad,、mm-hmm. bad luck. Something bad is coming after the adverb "unfortunately." For example, I wanted to go to the beach, but unfortunately. It was raining. That's、yeah. the bad thing, and it stopped me from going to the beach. For Apollo, this is bad because he might get bothered, attacked, or, or you know, put in danger by these thugs. That's right. A、uh, thug is not the kind of person you want to run into,、uh, especially you know, in a dark alley. In a dark alley, in yeah, a bad with your wallet out. That's right. Yeah, a thug is actually a thug is a noun, and it's a violent person, and it's usually someone who beats people up for a purpose. So.、Mm-hmm. Maybe these guys are kind of walking around looking for wallets to、mm-hmm. steal, and they send、ah. for tourists with lots of money、yeah. or something. So it's a robber, it's、mm-hmm. a criminal, it's a bandit, it's a mugger. Right. You might also call them a mugger or something like that. Basically, they'll do street crime and often beat people up or hurt、mm-hmm. them and run away with their stuff. But so Apollo's in a bit of danger. I don't know if there's a policeman around or something like that, but. It seems there is a bit of help. It says,、uh, as the thugs threaten Apollo, a girl named Meg McCaffrey throws fruit at them, scaring them off.、Ooh. These aren't the most dangerous thugs in the world. <laughs> so they're being sca- although maybe you're being pelted by really large pineapples. True, or maybe、mm. they're wearing white shirts and she's throwing like old tomatoes, and they、right. they don't want to get their shirts dirty. <laughs> Anyways, they're not the most dangerous guys, but they were threatening Apollo,、mm-hmm. so that's pretty serious to threaten. This verb basically means to promise harm、Ooh. or something bad to a person. You haven't、okay. done it yet, but you're saying, "Ooh, I'm gonna get you one day. You're not gonna be looking, and I'm gonna hurt you, or I'm、mm. gonna do something bad to you."
So you're sort of promising in the future that something bad will happen to that person, and you might be doing it to them. It's of course not nice to threaten people. It can be illegal to threaten、right. people too.、Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so it's、uh, it's certainly a bad behavior, a bad action to do. But it happens, especially maybe in a family, as we read. Megan threatened her little brother after she found him sneaking around her room.、Mm, I'm pretty sure I've done that to my sister. He was trying to read her diary,、maybe. or you know something like that. So she said, "If I ever catch you in here again, I'm gonna tell mom, or I'm gonna." Kick you, or you know, something like that,、right. um, to sort of warn him that if he doesn't do something now, something bad will happen later. Okay, well, let's find out a little bit more about this Meg character.、Mm. She's she saved Apollo here.、Uh-huh. All the thugs, the thugs have gone, and and、uh, here in the article it says it turns out that Meg is a demigod. What? Oh, so now, what town is this? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Actually, wow, <laughs> it's a fancy New York, probably. Yeah, amazing. All right, so a demigod in Greek mythology is half human, half god. Now we know this because the prefix demi, d e m i, means half. So that means one of Meg's parents would be a god,、mm-hmm. and the other would be a human.、Ah. And、uh, in the book, at this point in the book, at least we don't know who Meg's. Parent is interesting. I think we do find out later. I'm just not sure、okay. it's mentioned.、Yeah. All right. I, yeah. th- a lot of people might know Hercules、mm. um, or Heracles,、mm-hmm. uh, as he was also called. He was a demigod, right?、Yeah. I think his father was Zeus,、mm-hmm. and his mother was a human, was a normal woman. So that's why he was half a god. And、right. they made a Disney movie about him a little while ago. Some people might have seen. Anyways, this is interesting. Meg has helped Apollo, but now it seems that she needs help too.、Mm. It says she needs Apollo's help. To get to Camp Half Blood, a camp for demigods,、okay. so maybe they can team up and help each other. Yeah. Well. Okay. So now we're going to get to a bit of an interesting section here. An interesting sentence. There's, there's a couple of phrases we need to talk about. It says, "In return for saving Apollo, Meg claims Apollo's service."、Hmm. Now that's a bit confusing. First, we'll talk about the phrase "in return for." So when you do something in return for another action, you are doing it as a payment or a reward for something. So, for example. Uh, in return for putting out the fire, the firefighters received a medal,、um, so the medal is an award and a way a way to say thank you for for doing this job. Now we also saw, or we could also say as an example sentence: In return for helping me move, I bought my friends pizza and beer. A nice thing to do for your friends there to、uh, say thank you. That's right. Often、mm-hmm. when dumb, someone does us a favor, we would like to do something, you know, in, in, return. in return. That's absolutely right. Yeah. Now we also saw that Meg claims Apollo's service. Now、hmm. this isn't a phrase we use often in English. It's it may be、no. a bit confusing. So when you claim something, you say that something such as money or property is yours, and that you have a legal right. To it.、Mm-hmm. Now, here, what this is saying in the book is that as a demigod, Meg has the right to make Apollo, who is now human,、mm-hmm. do things for her. That's the Ooh, service,、okay. because she saved him. So she has she has more status、mm-hmm. than Apollo does right now as a demigod, which doesn't usually happen. And because she did this thing for him,、mm-hmm. now he she can say that he has to do these things for her. Oh. Okay,、mm-hmm. so yeah, basically, if you do something nice for another person, that person,、uh, sorry, you can say to that person, "I did something nice for you. Now you must do something nice for me back." It's kind of an old-fashioned way of, of looking at doing things, things、yeah. but you know, maybe a knight would say that to another knight for、mm-hmm. saving him in a battle or、right. something like that. You know, so it's a way of paying back your debts,、um, no matter what kind of thing you owe another person. So、mm-hmm. as we read, Apollo now. Now has to perform tasks for Meg until his debt is paid off. So he's got to basically be her servant and do whatever she wants him to do until I guess she feels that he's done enough to pay her back for saving him from the thugs. Because、right. he could have been beaten, he could have been killed, but she saved him. But so now he's got to pay her back or pay his debt off. When you pay something off, basically you're you're paying back a person. 
person, right? This、mm-hmm. is often an idea that we might have when someone borrows money from you. If、mm-hmm. it's a lot of money, they might pay you off slowly, right? If right. I borrow money from Aaron, I might borrow five thousand dollars, and I'll say I'll pay you back one thousand dollars for five months. And if I give her the right money after five months, I will have paid off my debt. I will、right. have fulfilled my debt, and now everything's back to zero. Now we are even. Right, and of course, debt. Often just means the money that you owe people.、Mm-hmm. However, in this case, it's talking about an obligation, an action that, an you, action that you owe somebody. There you go.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so Apollo's first task here is to get both of them to Camp Half Blood. That's what he、ah. has to do first. Okay. Okay, and to do this, he turns to the demigod Percy Jackson for help. Oh, oh, Percy Jackson! I bet、uh, I bet we all recognize that name. Absolutely, isn't he related to? I, I can't say I know. He's he's really he's related to Poseidon. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I think his dad might be Poseidon,、mm-hmm. the、uh, the king of the the oceans and the seas. Right. Anyway, so Percy Jackson's involved now. Everything makes sense, but it seems here that they're getting his help. Right. They right. need Percy Jackson's help.、Mm. Um, of course, they're they're turning to him for help. But even the phrase "turn to" means to help someone. Right. So、Or、when、to. you turn to somebody, you actually just you want that person to help you, you in some way. Go to them for help. You You get you, maybe you want advice. Maybe、mm-hmm. they help you solve a problem. That sort of thing. Yeah, kids often turn to their parents, right? Don't they? And that's what our example sentence、ah. is about. Emil turned to his parents when he lost his job and ran out of money. So he needed help, and those、yeah. are the people that he went to. Those、mm-hmm. are the people that he turned to. All right, back in the article, it says it takes a while to persuade Percy, but he finally agrees to drive them to the camp. So it wasn't an easy thing to get Percy's help. They had to persuade him.、Mm. This verb to persuade basically means to convince, to change a person's mind, to get them to do what you want them to do. Usually through using words and good arguments by、mm. saying, "Come on, if you help us, we'll do this," or you know, "We know you like us and you want to be friendly, so you'll do this." You know, so basically the person at first was like, "No,、nah, I don't really want to," but then you keep talking to them, you keep trying to find ideas that will change their mind, and if you do, well, you've persuaded that person. For example,、mm-hmm. we managed to persuade Erica to come to the movies with us.、Great. At first, she was like, "I don't have money. I'm too busy." But then we said it'll be fun, and it's a really good movie, and we'll buy you a popcorn. And she's like, "Oh, okay."、Mm. So we persuaded her. All right. Well, that's all the time we've actually got to cover the first day of today's article. We're gonna take a quick break right now. Go to our for you chat. We'll be right back. All right, our chat question is about paying back favors. It、mm-hmm. says, "Explain a situation in which you've asked someone for a favor and how you thank the person that helped you." Well, I've actually done this quite a few times. If you go back to our example sentence, you might remember that I said I thanked some friends for. Helping me move by buying them pizza and beer, or、wow. pizza and drinks. Right, drinks. pizza and drinks. Everyone、mm-hmm. likes a nice meal, especially after they've done a favor. What a great、right. way to pay someone back!、Mm-hmm. I'll help you move next time. Okay. Can I choose my pizza? <laughs> you can. Awesome. Not、yeah. Hawaiian. No seafood either. All right. If you if you make me eat Hawaiian, <laughs> then you owe me a favor. Okay. All right, guys. That's it for us. But we'll be back with more about the hidden oracle today,、uh, tomorrow, I should say, and the day after. So come and join us for that. We'll see you then. The Hidden Oracle. Apollo lands in a large dumpster with a crash. In a fog, Apollo looks around, trying to figure out where he is. The only thing he can remember is that his father Zeus is mad at him. For punishment, Zeus has made Apollo mortal and sent him to Earth as a teenage boy. Apollo looks around and finds his wallet. An ID card confirms his human identity, Lester Papadopoulos. Unfortunately, two thugs spot Apollo's wallet as well. As the thugs threaten Apollo, a girl named Meg McCaffrey throws fruit at them, scaring them off. It turns out that Meg is a demigod. 
She needs Apollo's help to get to Camp Half Blood, a camp for demigods. In return for saving Apollo, Meg claims Apollo's service. Apollo now has to perform tasks for Meg until his debt is paid off. Apollo's first task is to get both of them to Camp Half Blood. To do this, he turns to the demigod Percy Jackson for help. It takes a while to persuade Percy, but he finally agrees to drive them to the camp. Vocabulary review. Crash. I heard a crash outside and went out to the street to see what had happened. Punishment. Henry's punishment for being naughty in class was to do even more homework. Identity. The police still don't know the thief's identity. They just know what he looks like. Unfortunately, we thank you for coming in to talk to us, but unfortunately, our company is not hiring right now. Threaten, the bank robbers threatened to shoot the police if they weren't allowed to leave with all the money. Persuade, the car dealer tried to persuade me to buy a used car at a high price.